Guess who is back ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another trading method video. In this video I'm going to show you how I made 300,000 coins in just one single day. But before we go any further guys I am also on twitch.tv. Over there I will be live streaming and I will be trading from zero to one million coins. So if you are interested make sure to click the link down below in the description box and go ahead and follow so you get notified when I go live. So without any more further ado, let's jump right into this video. So the filter that we are going to be using is as follows. We're gonna trade with special cards. Again, I've made a video of it yesterday. That was crazy. Thank you so much for the support on that video. It got a thousand views within 24 hours, which for me is fantastic. So I really wanna thank you guys so much for that. And we're also getting very close to 1500 subscribers as well. So if you are new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Next up, as we've got quality special, we're going to go to chemistry style and we're going to go to Hunter. All right. Now, step number three, pricing, go to 10,250 coins like so. Max price, go to 20,000. Minimum buy now, go to 20,000. And max buy now, just pump that up. To 50 million and let's have a look uh, at the cards that are being listed up now there are two ways to use this method one is bidding and one is sniping so I'm gonna show you both ways of course first up let's have a look at the players that are being listed up so for example this flop here plays in the Belgian league not really going for anything. Rune, uh, I would not recommend picking him up simply because he is 81 rated. Um, I know he's got a hunter card, but doesn't play in that great of a league. So yeah, not really worth the coins. Now, probably same goes with this bear house card. Again, probably going for around 80 to 17 thousand coins with a hunter card. So again, not really worth the coins. But now here we've got Julian Brandt and he is actually quite interesting. Let me have a, let me have a quick look, 14,000 coins and he's currently got a bid for 10,250 coins. So let me add him to the transfer market real quick and let's have a quick look how much he's going for. Julian Brandt, there we go, with a hunter card, let's see, let's see, there's one for 16, which is relatively cheap to be fair. Another one for 16k. Okay, yeah, so the lowest is probably around 16 to 15,000 coins. So I could potentially pick him up on a bid for maybe 11 or maybe even less, and which will get me like 5,000 coins profit. Now, now, let's have a look at a few more cards. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we bid on Julian Brandt. We've got the this we've got this Toliso card. I know for a fact he ain't worth that much, so we're just gonna skip him and continue. And by the way, I am looking at players that have got a bid on him. So for example, this Sancho here, a bid for 10,750. He is definitely worth more than that. So we will add him to the transfer market, and I will have a look at his price in a little bit. We've got Madison over here, don't think he's going for that much to be fair, but then again, maybe he is. He got a bid for 26,000 coins, which is quite interesting. So let me have a look at Madison as well. There's one here for 43,000. And let's have a look here. 44,000 coins. And yeah, okay, so around 43 to 40,000 coins. So I will try my best and to pick him up for as cheap as possible so we could get most profit. Now, it, it does take another 13 minutes, so I don't really want to wait for that. Let me just place a bit down. And now let's have a look at Madison over here. Madison with a Hunter chemistry style card. It was his 84 rated card, I believe it was. There's one for 26,000. To the last page 27 27 so yeah he has around 27,000 coins so again we could also manage to pick him up he's got a bit on it for 16 and a half so um, yeah if we manage to pick him up for let's say 20 or less that would be absolutely perfect and get ourselves like six 
thousands of coins profit. Now it did got outbid on both of these guys, which is fine. So I'm gonna wait till the end and then bid on them as well. Now you can also use the chemistry style shadow for this method. So let's try that as well. You can use the exact same pricing filter as you did before. So let me just put that up real quick. 20, 20 and boom, 50 million. And again, have a look at a few cards that got a bid on him. For example, this Kappa here. Don't know how much he's going for. Probably around 20,000 coins as there are plenty of cards up on the market. So let me just add him to the transfer targets. And mostly I would like to go for defensive minded players. So don't go for any attackers. So defend the beak here. With a shadow card, I mean, you could really use him because... I mean you could use Van de Beek with a shadow card because that will boost everything up to 80 stats. So let's have a look how much he is going for, probably around the same price as well. So let me just add him to the transfer targets. Now the times that you want to use this method are actually when team of the week drops or when their uh, for champions rewards are out, division rivals rewards are out. Because then people will pack a lot of players and you are able to get yourself a few thousand coins within a couple of minutes so yeah i would really recommend to do to use this uh to use the method at those times you've got ferrati over here as well he's going for way more than 10,000 coins so i'm at him to transmark so yeah you've got two filters to use this method now there's also another way to use this exact method let me go back to the hunter chemistry style and now what we want to do is to go ahead and snipe a couple of players so we're gonna go all the way to the 59th minute. There we go. And here we've got Brandt again for 25,000 coins just being listed up. Don't, I cannot remember how much he was going for, but I do believe it was around the same price. So yeah, we're not going to snipe him. But then again, at those times when there are a lot of packs up on the market and a lot of packs are being opened, a lot of players are being listed up, this method is crazy crazy effective right now it's around 11 a.m uk time so there aren't that many players and cards being listed up but i've managed to get myself some crazy crazy profit by just sniping these players but that was it for today i hope you guys did enjoy this video if so make sure to drop a thumbs up also subscribe to my channel if you're new and i'll see you guys all in the next video take care peace bye bye